How is it going ladies and gentlemen, Dax here and today we're going to be reacting to another Cause Quasar video. This video is based on the most extreme explosion in the universe. You know Cause Quasar videos, when they go to space, they're a bang of a video, so let's get straight into it. Okay, like usual, the video would be transparent in the corner like this because copyright reasons, of course, that's the only other reason. Um, but anyway, let's get straight into the video and away we go. Supernovae are the most powerful explosions in the universe, Supernovae? unleashing enough energy to outshine galaxies. Or oh, animation. We have no point real metaphor today. for their power. If the sun were to magically go supernova, it would feel like you were being hit by the energy of a nuclear explosion every second for weeks. Every second for While a week. Supernovae Jesus are the Christ. engines of creation, forging the elements that enable life. They also burn sterile whole regions of galaxies. Def uh, so definition what of overkill. <laughs> if one hit Earth. Oh, well, obviously we did in the first one. Boom, boom, boom. There are, roughly speaking, two ways to make a supernova. Either okay. the core of a massive star implodes, or, less common, a white dwarf gains mass to the point where it ignites explosive nuclear fusion. The huh? outcome is the same. Sorry? A Come supernova again? explosion. Oh, when okay. When we think of an explosion on Earth, we think of something that happens fast and ends. But a supernova is more like a volcanic eruption followed by a tsunami. At first, Jesus. there's a colorful ball of hot, expanding gas, creating a spectacular cloud that will shine for about a month. But then, it doesn't stop. Oh, hot God. and dangerous gas rushes outwards at speeds of 10,000 kilometers a second through the near vacuum of space, sweeping up the sparse gas of the galaxy. This wall wow. of gas expands for tens of thousands of years and will eventually span up to dozens of light years until it finally cools off and disperses its substance back into the galaxy. Uh, so what if this star tsunami hits us? Well, yeah. the damage depends on how far away Distance. it is. Distance, yeah! If we were Stage close, one, get thousands up. of light years away. Humans have witnessed dozens of... So I like the nuclear uh, bomb... Uh, but like analogy is that the word i can't think of the word but it's, for example if it hit a certain place that place would get affected more and then as soon as it would disperse out the less affected you would be so it's just based on where the planet would be compared to the supernova supernovae but all of them were thousands supernovae, of light years sorry. away they appeared as new stars some yeah. outshining the moon twinkling for a few weeks and disappearing wow. aside from i wonder if we will ever distance, see something like that they don't I doubt do much it. to us Stage two, 300 light years away. Things okay. begin to get a bit icky once a supernova occurs around 300 light years away. Okay. We can expect one this close to us every few million years. A oh single God. star giving the night sky an eerie glow like twilight. And while Whoa. this is far enough away and dim enough to not do harm to us, they can affect okay. the Earth. How's At these then? distances, it's like Tides? being hit by the last weak waves of the star tsunami. Yeah. Not strong enough to do real damage, but still noticeable. Yeah. In effects. fact, we know that over the past 10 million years, multiple supernovae have struck Earth from these distances because we can find radioactive mm? isotopes of iron deep in the rocks and sediments at the bottom of the ocean. Okay. Amazingly, these supernovae around the solar system have cleared a 1,000 so light year radiation? wide pocket of space that's called the local bubble. They blew away the interstellar gas and dust, creating a lumpy wall of gas that's now a cradle for star formation. Oh. Stage 3, 150 light years away. Once a supernova happens much oh, closer than close. 300 <laughs> light years, we're approaching the zone where it does real damage. Danger zone. Stars have extremely powerful magnetic fields. When they die, the tsunami of dead star actually retains a lot of this magnetic energy woven He's through the shock wave that expands outwards. In this highly magnetized cloud, we get conditions like in a huge particle accelerator that's accelerating charged particles like protons, nuclei, and electrons to immense speeds. Which okay. means we have an expanding cloud that is shooting deadly radiation in all directions long Jesus after Christ. the bright light from the initial explosion has faded away. Mm -hmm. If a supernova happens too close by, waves of these cosmic rays will wash over the solar system for thousands of years. Jeez. While we're mostly protected on Earth's surface by the atmosphere and ozone layer, the influx of extra ozone. radiation will still increase cancer and mutation rates. Ooh. Not enough to cause a mass extinction, but it will be noticeable. 
Spaceflight would become Jeez. impossible in the solar system as astronauts wouldn't survive the waves of radiation for long. We don't know exactly how no. bad this would be, but a supernova that is close enough may trap our species on Earth for generations, maybe thousands of years. Jesus. It only gets worse from here. Stage 4, closer than 100 light years. Within 100 light years, things get bad, as a supernova disrupts our climate in ways that we don't fully understand yet. Oh, so there not are a do few much unpleasant that. things happening all one after another. First, the high-energy photons arrive from the explosion, followed by many decades of radiation from the radioactive tsunami, both of which seriously damage the ozone layer, Earth's oh, no. shield against harmful radiation. The ozone layer Savage. absorbs ultraviolet radiation by breaking apart ozone, O3, into O2 and a free oxygen atom, which later reforms back into another ozone molecule. Oh. But the supernova radiation breaks up nitrogen molecules that gobble up the free oxygen, breaking the cycle and depleting the ozone layer quickly. Mm. Without a radiation shield, everybody living on the surface is exposed to very high levels of UV radiation so from the sun. Bugged. Cancer rates would skyrocket, and right. just going outside during the day could be life-threatening. The VR extra time, radiation baby. will also kill a lot, Metaverse. if not most, of the plankton in the oceans Rise that up. live near the surface and are the basis for the marine food chains, leading okay. to a mass extinction. Worse still, supernova radiation no more fish, would ionize baby. gas in the atmosphere, which means that it would punch through molecules and knock electrons off nuclei, leaving them charged. These charged nuclei then act as seeds for water vapor to gather and form massive global clouds. In the worst case, they would reflect enough sunlight to trigger an ice age. In fact, it's thought Jeez. that the Ice Age two and a half oh, million years ago was caused by a supernova. Some scientists even think uh, that a supernova about 69 years away might have been the cause of the Devonian mass extinction 350 million years ago. Wow, but wait, okay. there's more. The oh, electrons more. punched free by the radiation form enormous electric avalanches, or in other words, oh. lightning. Earth is oh. hit by some of the worst thunderstorms oh. in millions of years. The intense lightning causes oh, global no wildfires that consume forests and crops, devastate cities, disrupt our electrical grids and global uh, supply chains. All damn. while a decimated ozone layer leaks deadly radiation. While in the past the ecosystem may have bounced back from a nearby supernova after a few thousand or million years, there's no guarantee modern civilization can take a hit of this magnitude. No, it would be a reset. We would face food shortages, skyrocketing prices and wars as nations struggle to not be consumed by chaos. Yeah. So a supernova this close would at the very least do significant damage for hundreds or thousands of years, if oh, not end I'm not our sleeping modern tonight. civilization I don't know about you. and with it millions <laughs> or even billions of lives. We've not even got hit by the Still, worst of it, yeah. Humanity would likely survive and yeah. could recover. Stage Damn. five, closer than 25 light years. That's practically an odd step. A closer than 25 light years means that we're in its kill radius, where a mass yeah. extinction is all but guaranteed. Probably oh, okay. about oh. half of the ozone layer would be destroyed, and massive climactic disruption on a scale we've never witnessed would ravage Earth. Entire ecosystems would swiftly be wiped out by radiation Whoa. as global wildfires envelop the planet. All the things described before happen, but way more intensely Ten and times much faster. A few people might survive for years in bunkers if they have food really? supplies, but the oh. world they return to will be devastated and hostile to life for hundreds of thousands of years. Hundreds Human of thousands. extinction is extremely likely. Jesus, extremely stage, likely, but four not... Years. Being in a okay, close yeah, to supernova is very unlikely We'd be because dust. space is big, but yep. the effects would be extreme. Even from four light years away, the distance to Alpha Centauri, a supernova would be almost as bright as the sun in the sky. While casting two shadows could be fun for a few hours, within days the uh -oh. Earth's surface gets as hot as a sauna, baking the surface for weeks until the explosion fades. The surface of Earth burns, scoured of life. Even the oceans That's aren't safe. Crazy. The massive amount of radiation that follows it burns boiling. away the ozone layer, killing everything that sees sunlight. It would be yeah. the largest extinction event in history, reducing life to a few survivors in the deep sea and critters Jesus. in the deep soil. Life basically has to start over. Conclusion. How worried do you need to be? I would say so very unlikely. Worry? No. Fortunately, no. there okay, are we only can a handful tonight, of stars that may <laughs> explode within 1,000 light years of Earth, and yep. none are close enough to be a serious threat. Okay, Even better, let's these go. stars will probably not go supernova for many millions of years. Yeah, so just you vibing, bro. are safe. 
but there's no guarantee Chilling for the far the future. As stars orbit the galaxy, our descendants may find themselves dangerously close to a supernova. But by then, a far more advanced and wiser mm. humanity will hopefully be able to just move out of the way. Yeah, In any let's case, go. you can sleep well tonight under the beautiful night sky. And if you dream about understanding the physics behind this video and others, we've created nah, a series of that, lessons bro. to build your understanding of fundamental science. You, you talk science. on about your stuff. It's Made brilliant, in collaboration right? with our friends at Brilliant, these lessons dive deeper into topics from our <laughs> most popular videos, videos. <laughs> including things like cosmology, biology, and even climate science. Let's go. Brilliant is an interactive learning tool that makes science accessible with a hands-on approach. Because we know that to really learn something, you've got to do it. Think true, of each lesson true. as a one-on-one -on -one tutoring version of a Kurzgesagt video. In our latest lesson, you'll journey further into the conditions that can trigger a supernova and how to determine the impact of one on a planet like ours. Brilliant has thousands of lessons to explore, from maths-based topics like algebra and probability to the concepts behind machine learning and quantum computing. And with new lessons added each month, including ones from Kurzgesagt, you'll always find something fascinating to learn. To Hell get yeah. hands-on with Kurzgesagt lessons now, go to brilliant.org slash nutshell and sign up for free. And with a free trial of Brilliant Premium, you can explore everything Brilliant has to offer. There's even an extra perk for Kurzgesagt viewers. The first 200 people to use the link get 20% off their annual membership, which unlocks all of Brilliant's courses in okay. maths, science, and computer science. We love to go above and beyond with our research. Brilliant will be the catalyst to expand the limits of your knowledge. There are still a few copies left of our 12,023 human calendar. Get it now. For Hell yeah, that's a lot of promotion. Yeah, that's the end of the video. That's a very, very good video. Like I said, their space videos go hard. You get a Cause Cause space video, you know it's going to be a 10 out of 10 every time. No cap on a stack. And that was brilliant. Very good, very good, very good. Make sure you check out the original description down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We, we watch all the Cause Cause Art videos. We enjoy them quite a lot. So anyway, I will see you in the next video. Laters.